Hi Aquarius, Pound Light Tarot coming at you with a reading, and this reading is on your person. This is behind the scenes on them, all right? So we are staked out, yeah, we're staked out at their girlfriend's house trying to get all the info here for you to get the scoop. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well, and please be aware, Aquarius, that although this is their reading, these energies could be yours, all right, and that they are general readings and they may or may or not resonate. Let's get started. Aquarius, right now your person is in the Two of Wands energy. Yes, they are. Six of Cups for them. Could be dealing with a Sag. I have been seeing Sagittarius in your readings for a while now. Yes, I have, Aquarius. In their environment, uh, somebody is crying, okay, on their brand new quilt over here. <laughs> Why do they have the Two of, of Wands? Why does Aquarius' person have the Two of Wands, please? Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Wow. Your person looks like they are, let's see, they look like they, they could be choosing a third party here. They really could. They could be uh, at a crossroads about one. Let's see here, because remember, in their environment is, you know, the Nine of Swords energy. They could be at a crossroads here. They could be forced to kind of go off, maybe. Let's see. This reading is so young. Uh, let's get a card on the... Let's get a card on the Six of Cups. This is what is crossing them. They could be trying to manifest a new life for themselves. Why is that Six of Cups there for them? This is crossing them, kind of... Six of Swords, wow. Judgment. Crossing them, they could be, uh, there could be a decision here where somebody's maybe leaving for somebody for, from the past. We're going to keep going and revisit. In the root for your person is the Eight of Wands. This is fast change. It could be fast news. Why is that Eight of Wands there? Fool card. Ace of Swords, wow, there could be, uh, could be an Aries here maybe, and the Five of Wands is in the reverse, wow, sometimes this is competition, mm -hmm. somebody could be like, they, this could be like ending a third party, it's going to depend, right, let's keep going and we're going to find out. Why is that Five of Wands in the reverse, please? Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there is a Sagittarian here. Because the Temperance is right here in their near future, right? Yeah, I feel like there is a Sag here. And the King of Pentacles. There is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Mm -hmm. And I feel like why this is all happening, the root here. Somebody is, I, I feel like, taking a leap of faith here mm -hmm. on somebody. Yeah, and it could be like ending a third party, like choosing the person that they want. Let's get a card on judgment. This is crossing them. Why is judgment crossing them? They could be making a decision to uh, maybe go with somebody from their past. Or a decision could be made against them, maybe. Knight of Wands. Could be a Sagittarian here and the Seven of Wands. Your person is super overwhelmed here mm -hmm. because uh, Aquarius, you could be the one who is like leaving, right? You could be leaving here for somebody from the past. Let's continue and we'll crack the case. The King of Pentacles is showing up, and the King of Pentacles is in the recent past. Sorry, I'm so like robotty, and the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Let's see what we got. The Page of Swords is showing up. King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like in the past they were thinking about, they could have been thinking about two different people. It's a possibility. Ten of Cups. This is how this is looking. They were kind of like, they needed more information here. Mm -hmm. And this could be, uh, I feel like Aquarius, you could be leaving. This is your person. You could be it's going to depend here. Let's keep going here. Because I feel like you are leaving them, Aquarius. This is how this looks. And they're at a crossroads because of some third party. Yes. And they're overwhelmed over here. Mm -hmm. Let's get a card. In their overall energy, they have the 
Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and Three of Wands. You can talk about like turning your back. This can talk about moving toward a third party. But it is typically uh, more so kind of moving away because of a third party. Mm -hmm. Like at a crossroads. The Devil card in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's going back to somebody from their past here. This is how this looks in this reading. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, you could be returning to a Sagittarian. Mm -hmm. And crowning your thoughts is the Knight of Swords. This could be you, possibly. Why is that Knight of Swords? This could be Aquarius, right? Hangman, could be a Piscean here. Because the King of Cups is showing up in the recent past. Can just be love, though. We see the King of Cups. Now, over here, crowning the thoughts of some type of a third party. That, for me, they want to cut out. They feel, like, really stuck over it. They could be stuck on how to do it. But I feel like Aquarius, if this, the way this reading looks, is that you are leaving them. Uh, yeah. Let's get one more card. Why is he three of swords there, please, for Aquarius's person? Two of swords. Yeah, they're... They're stuck here totally. They don't know what to do here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. About some type of a third party. I'm going to pick up these other cards because those other cards are getting on my nerves. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Okay, so let me make sure. Okay, temperance is in the near future for them, guys. Why is temperance there for where is this person? In of Wands, see this is change here. And in the root is change, or fast change, with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, that could just be, you know, the wheel is turning part of life, right? The wheel turns every day. Uh, yes, it does. And, but I feel like it is Sagittarius in this reading. And I don't see the Queen of Wands yet, no. She's not showing her face here. But in the near future, I feel like there is some fast change surrounding some type of a Sagittarian, or some type, but you know what I mean. Why is that Eight of Wands there, please? Eight of Pentacles, Devil in the Reverse. Wow, the Devil's in the Reverse like all day long here. The Virgo card, yeah, the Hermit. It's kind of interesting here. They could be coming out. They could be like kind of, uh, like, kind of healing or something, right? It's going to depend here. But in the near future, there's some fast change for them, and it is about a Virgo here. Let's see why they are seeing themselves as the Ace of Cups. Maybe they are the ones who have a new beginning. Uh, but I'm not seeing it like that. Why is it Ace of Cups there? Because the readings can be reversed. Yeah, they can, you guys. For all the people who kind of don't kind of maybe realize that. Okay, over here, it could be an Aries here, right? But how they are seeing themselves, I feel like they are no longer confused here that somebody has their Ace of Cups here. Yes. Yeah, that there is a third party here that somebody's going to go like manifest, right? They're like choosing a third party. This is how I'm seeing this reading. Nine of Wands. Yeah, your person is this wounded warrior. Mm -hmm. Over some third party, Aquarius, I feel like you want. All right? And in their environment is the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords there? Nine of Cups in the reverse. Wow, yeah, your person is really taking things hard here. Their wish has gone away. Right? Their heart is broken. Um, yeah, they're like super upset here. I feel like they are grieving and uh, full of worry. Mm-hmm. Five of Pentacles, wow, it doesn't get really much worse. Six of Cups, yep, for somebody from the past. Judgment, because I feel like you're making a decision over here, Aquarius. Yes, and this is, this is what this is saying. They're overwhelmed about you making a decision here to, I think, return to somebody from the past. And in their hopes and fears is the Knight of Cups. They're still hoping here. <laughs> Why is that Knight of Cups there? And the Death card, Knight of Cups again, wow.
Yeah, they're fearing you're going to give your cup to somebody and there's an ending, not to somebody. It is, it is uh, Virgo or it is Sagittarian here. For me, it's Sagittarius. It could be either way. Here's the Queen of Wands showing up again. I mean, not again, but here she is. Mm -hmm. And this is in their hopes and fears. I feel like they're fearing here that you're going to go off with this Queen of Wands, Aquarius, and... Yeah. I feel like they're still hoping for a transformation with you. Like, hoping for a change with you. But I, they're fearing. They're like, yeah, they're... Yeah, they're totally worried at the same time. We're going to find out the YouTube. We're going to find out the outcome, you guys, over on Vimeo. Yeah. And that's where the tell-all is, right? And we're going to find out the current dynamic, how they really feel about you, what they want, and kind of like what their desires and hopes, what they are fearing, right? Separately, because I want to make sure that is uh, crystal clear. And also the challenge, right? The challenge of the block here and what they could be hiding from you all on Vimeo, guys. And uh, most important is what they're how they feel, right? Yeah, we're gonna find out. They're all super affordable. Those extendeds, yes, they are, guys. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And the best way is to get your own reading, right? Thank you so much.